All right, what's up guys and welcome back or to the channel. I went ahead and threw the roof on here. This was just a painful process in general. Just be thankful you guys didn't have to watch it. But if you cut something and it was just a little bit too long, you had to go back down there and cut it and it was a whole thing. But it's done now and we don't have to worry about that anymore. Anyways, right now, um, we're gonna change this up. So I gotta come back here and I actually gotta cut out this uh, back wall. Look at that, the pile's gone, the roof's done, and the back of this thing looks absolutely fantastic now. Everything's all finished, finished off here. We do need to come up here and clean everything off, but that's besides the point. Everything is pretty much good to go. That looks, oh, it looks so good. I guess there's one more piece of wood to cut, and it's gonna be what goes on top of the fan, and we can attach um, our tube and all of that to it. Um, other than that, this thing is good to go. As you can see, now it is super dark in here um, with the roof all on. This is absolutely just crazy. So we're 100% good to start the drywall on the outside. Actually, we already have on this corner, but to keep going. So we're probably gonna start that next. However, we're not gonna do that in here just yet. I mean soon, like very soon, but I gotta do something first. I ordered a sound system for the paint booth, and I don't know if that's gonna be in this video or the next video, but we got sounds coming just because I feel like if the doors are closed and all that, I'm not gonna be able to hear the speaker outside. So uh, I'm gonna want the sound in here, so we're gonna make that happen. I don't know where I'm gonna put it, either here. I mean, the door is gonna swing this way, so I don't want it to always be behind the door, but if it has to, it has to. Um, I have a volume control knob that'll be able to turn the music up and down and connect to an amp and Bluetooth in the back. So that's gonna be sweet, and I will get that installed to show you guys that. Um, that's what we're waiting on in here. I'm gonna run the speaker wire the same way we got that going. And that's just gonna be sick all around. Shortly, we'll have electrical to the booth. Um, we'll have a fan running and we'll be able to get lights and um, get them put in. It's, it's, we're, we're so close now, it's absolutely just, this has been crazy. This thing is just absolutely massive and um, I can't wait to get using it. But I, during the prog, you know, during this whole project, um, it's definitely been, it's been a lot of work. I didn't fully understand how much work this would be. I thought it was just framing out a little paint booth and here we are, you know, I got a welding socket inside about to, you know, put a sound system in it. I just figured do it right the first time because it'd be a lot harder to add that down the road than it would be to just do it right now and um, save me a lot of time actually. So that's why we're building it so over the top and out of, you know, out of bounds really because I don't want to go back and have to change anything after the fact. Um, that's why there's outlets on the roof. Enough, 
you know, area for nine lights, three down the side, things got switches, extra plugs. Um, we just threw it all in there to start. You know what that means we are closer than ever i mean probably seconds away i wish i could call it seconds but closer than ever to getting that thing painted um roof's done back walls done drywall on the outside is done we, we didn't do the inside yet because i have a sound system coming for this so i actually got to run some speaker wire um in here down all of these connect them over here run a volume switch and all that but that's why we haven't done that yet but in the next video Literally, um, we'll be installing that sound system and getting all of this covered in drywall as well and getting it all finished. Yes, everybody who's been here and looked at this so far has been confused at why I, why I drywalled over the plywood. Um, literally to finish it, to look good, um, just to match that wall and uh, that wall over here. But it just to make it look good and like it belongs and not just a you know plywood room you know in here it is a little bit of extra work but it will be worth it and this side looks good as well and then as you can see the only thing we haven't done is the back and i don't think i'm gonna do the back because back here we can put hooks and stuff on the wall and hang stuff and whatever make this a storage area hang things do whatever not really worry about it put some i'm gonna get that rolling staircase i have lifted a little bit literally lifted about two feet and um make it so we can walk up there and be just fine but i don't think i'm gonna drywall any of this i will paint it to match the rest of the booth as well so this will just be the black um plywood but I don't feel the need to come back here and perfectly finish this, especially when um, I don't want to use this as, you know, I, I don't want this wall to be unusable and too pretty to, you know, throw things on, lean up against, all of that. Um, I think that's the route. We're going to go back here. But now that this thing is drywalled, obviously we got to mud it and do all that and paint it. But but all that's really left is we're going to get the electrical connected. We're going to get the fan plugged in. I got to um, attach the tube and this thing is pretty much ready to, uh, you know, fire up here. So we are so close, uh, so, so close to getting this thing um, up and running by pretty much the end of this week we should have doors made everything drywalled if not the doors but we should be about 98 99 percent and then we can get building a badass bronco but we're almost there guys and um i am so excited honestly just done with the carpentry and the drywall and all that um 
<clears throat> I want to get back to the cars. But if you guys enjoyed this video, shoot a thumbs up. If you haven't been here before, please get down there, click subscribe. We got a lot of builds coming, and like I said, this is taking a minute, but it's going to really, really help us um, down the road here. And I'm excited to show you what something like this um, can do for not only me, but you guys as well. So take care, guys. I'll catch you in the next video. We should be installing a whole sound system in this paint booth. And... Um, Pretty much almost finishing this thing all the way out. So we're close, guys. I'll see you in the next one.